Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 21st of 2022. Well, it is titled Planetary Nebula, a Bell 7. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula. And it is a cloud of gas in space that is left over at the end of the life of a star much like our own sun. Here we see specific details of it, which are enhanced by looking at it at very specific wavelengths. So instead of just taking a picture, which captures all the wavelengths of light, here we look at specific wavelengths of hydrogen in red, oxygen in and oxygen in the green and blue colors, allowing us to see far more details than we would see in just an ordinary image of this planetary nebula. So we see again a lot of the details that certain areas are concentrated of uh, material and seem to have more material than others other places it seems to be more diffuse where the material has been able to spread out more. Now a planetary nebula is a very short phase of life at the end of a sun like star. And in fact most stars go through this phase from the very smallest stars up to stars even many times the size of our own sun. It's only the most massive stars that will become supernovae and would not become a planetary nebula. But what happens is that the in, when the sun uses up its hydrogen in its core, it will no longer have an energy source. So the core will start to collapse under gravity. As that does, it will heat up enough and eventually uh, fuse helium instead of hydrogen, fuse helium into carbon. And then that will eventually be used up and it will have used its energy sources. And that means that the core will continue to compact down. Now, how does that give you a great nebula like this? Well, as the core compacts down, and in fact, you see that core as the bluish star like object at the center, then the outer layers expand outward. And as they expand outward, eventually instabilities within the star will cause them to be separated from the star. And now you have the star in two parts. One is the core, which contains most of the mass down there at the center, and now is classified as a white dwarf star. The others will be uh, the other is the material expelled outward, which was the outer layers of the star, which are now expanding out into space. So they will expand uh, outward and eventually just diffuse out into space and be invisible. How are they being illuminated? Well, they don't give off any energy of their own or produce any energy. They are from the heat of that white dwarf star. Its intense energy gives off a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which will then excite the atoms in the gases there and causes them to glow. So we see here the reddish glow of the hydrogen and oxygen in the green and bluish colors within this nebula. So quote of a peek ahead to what our sun could look like billions of years from now. So that was our picture of the day for May 21st of 2022. It was titled Planetary Nebula A Bell 7. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be tsunami on the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.